你是个可爱的男孩，你是个可爱的女孩。嘿，宝贝儿，女儿，你能坐下来吗？你能坐下来吗？你能做到吗？你能为我躺下吗？你能帮我坐一下吗？哦，你真可爱，宝贝。哦，你真可爱。If you had no idea what was being said in that video, that was the point. If you talk to your dog before you even establish a base, a foundation of communication, that is basically what it sounds like when you're talking to your dog. A bunch of gibberish. All right. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five words to teach your dog to set up the basic foundation of y'all's communication that will last for the rest of their life. I promise you, if you follow this video, you'll be able to talk to your dog in full sentences for the rest of their life. The five words we're going to talk about that is going to be the foundation of communication between you and your animal. The first word being yes. Second word, good. The third word is okay or free, whatever you want your release word to be. The fourth word is their name, your dog's name. And the fifth word is the correction. It's no or ah ah, but we're gonna just say no, right? The first word we're talking about is the word yes. That word is what you call a bridge word. It, if you imagine a bridge, a bridge is to get from one place to another, basically you crossing over water or whatever. Yes. Being a bridge word means when you say yes, it's going to be the bridge that's in between what you asked your dog to do and them successfully doing it and receiving a reward. Place. Yes. Right. It's impossible to simultaneously reward your dog as they do what you ask them to do. But we use the word yes to bridge what we asked them to do to the reward. Yes should be the first thing you say after asking your dog to do anything. All right, the next word we're talking about is good. Good is a word that you use to make sure that an action continues. You say good when your dog is doing good. Doing good means they're actively doing something and you want them to keep doing it. So you're gonna tell them, good job, keep doing it, good. Good, good boy, good girl, good. Good. Good sit. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> yes. All right, now go back, go back. Yes, yes. Good girl. The next word is the release word and maybe one of the most important commands you can teach your dog across the board. Okay, you can use free, we use okay, it does not matter what your release word is as long as you are consistent and you have one. You need a release word to release your dog from any command that you ask them to do or to release your dog to allow them to do what they want to do. A lot of my philosophy is teaching your dog to ask you and look to you for permission to do pretty much anything. This is how it should be, right? You should be the leader and your dog should be looking to you to lead them. They should be looking to you for permission. So if you have a release word and you teach the release word, you are in turn kind of teaching your dog how to look to you for permission to then do things that they want to do, like maybe go run outside or run out the door or break their sit or break their down or break any command that you're telling them to do. All right. So you have to have a release word because your dog will never know how long they are supposed to do something unless they know when they are allowed to break it. Very important. If you ever see anybody be able to sit their dog down and go walk away from them, walk around the corner, the only reason they can do that is because they have a release word. If they didn't have a release word, I promise you, you would never ever be able to sit your dog down for multiple seconds or minutes and walk away and do whatever you need to do and come back and they still be there. Every dog should have a name and every dog should know their name. Now, something that people do is people just repeat a name over and over and over again. And they think that's the way to teach your dog their name is just by saying the name over and over and over and over again. Yeah, your, your dog might, you know, eventually start reacting to the name that you've repeated over and over again, but that is not the way to teach your dog their name. 
You want to teach your dog their name as you teach them a recall, which a recall means come, making them come back. So the same way you say come here or the same way you say let's go is the same way you teach your dog their name in a way. That's the way I teach them. But your, your dog's name is a very important thing to teach them properly. You should be able to say their name once and they look straight at you in your eyes every single time. Now, what else we're training? Her name, Nebula. Yes, good girl, good girl. And with that, you have a perfect foundation of communication that you could use to talk to your dog in any level and be able to extend your communication, extend the language and progress the language over time. I'm going to show you a video right now where I go outside and I make my dog do exactly what I want her to do, only using those five basic foundational words. Hopefully with these couple of clips that I show, you'll be able to see how teaching your dog and mastering these five foundational words can allow you to teach your dog anything moving forward. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all how I use these five words to get my dog to do anything that I want. All I need is the five words. Yes, good, okay, no, if I need to correct her in her name. You see, if she's all the way down there, right? I don't need to use any other words. Watch. Yeah. Yes. Yes, good girl. Ah, nope. Yes. Yes. Hey. Yes. Yes. G good. Yes. Yes. Good. Good girl. Good. Good girl, Louise. Good girl. This is a good girl. Good girl. Okay. I didn't explain exactly what I wanted to do, but obviously I wanted her to get up on the platform. Wait until I gave her a release. As you can see, I used yes as the bridge. Yes means you did exactly what I asked you to do. Good means keep doing what I want you to do. Louise. Yes. Yes means you did exactly what I want you to do. Good. Good. Good means keep doing what I want you to do. Good. I don't need to use N-O because she's doing exactly what I want her to do. N-O is only for corrections, right? Her name is her name, right? Her name means look at me, watch. Let's see if... Y'all already saw her name in action. I don't have to do it again. And then finally, our release word. Your dog will never know how long they need to do something unless you have a release word attached. The release word is probably the most important command you can teach your dog. <laughs> didn't say it yet. Yes, good girl. And she knows, she knows I didn't say it yet. Okay, good girl. All right, that's it.